just to let you know, in this video, my clothes and face and hair might change around a bit because this video is filmed on two separate days. I filmed it once before, but I didn't think it was very good. So I'm going to incorporate both bits of the videos together. And yeah, so please don't be put off or worried about the fact that my appearance might change. So yeah, enjoy. So I get scared pretty easily. I, by pretty easily, I mean very easily. I'm often nervous. If ever you speak to me, I assure you I'll be nervous about something. But these are all often things that don't really have much significance. And lately I've been thinking about something that's a lot more worrying to me. And it's growing up. Growing up is inevitable. There's no way you can avoid it. It's something that happens day by day. You grow. When you're younger, everyone has your short-term future planned out for you. You don't have to worry about anything. People have every aspect of your life for the next five years planned out ahead of you. But when you reach sort of my age and a bit older, no one does that for you. You have to make decisions and you, you feel a lot more responsible for things, a lot of things. <laughs> Which is scary. I'm 14 at the moment, which means I'm in year 10. I've just started my GCSEs. And I think that's what's made me realise how much growing up is going to affect me. I don't want to grow up. I want to stay 14 forever because it's, it's scary. It's scary growing up. I think in the long term what I'm really afraid of but just don't want to admit is that I'm scared of death. When I was younger I used to have a pretty big phobia of death. Death used to be something that frightened me a lot. I used to cry a lot about death, about my parents dying, my brother dying, about the people I love dying. It really scared me that once you're gone, you're gone. That's what I believe anyway. Obviously other people believe different things but I personally believe that once you're dead that's it. <laughs> Sorry. And I think that might be why I'm really scared about growing up. Growing up means that I'm just getting closer and closer to death. This is really morbid. This is really morbid. I'm really sorry. It's quite depressing. But it's true. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do as a career. I chose my options for my GCSEs based on the subjects that I was interested in and I didn't really focus on where they might take me in the future. And that's not very helpful because I want to do my A-levels and I'd actually really like to go to university. Fingers crossed. Can't see that one. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but that's not going to happen really unless I know what I want to do. I just haven't found it yet. I haven't found my calling. There's so many jobs out there. What do, what do I choose? How do I choose? It's so, so difficult. Really, really difficult. I know that in the future I'd like to do something creative and interesting, be that something musical or something like filmmaking, but I'm not really sure. In year 10 we have to try and do work experience, so find a placement somewhere. And I've been looking so, so hard but everyone said no. Damn. I don't know where I want to work, so work experience isn't really going to help me if I don't know where I want to work. That was a lot of words in one sentence. I think another reason I'm so scared is because all my friends know what they want to do, and I feel like I'm one of the only ones that doesn't. I just, I just feel very strange not knowing what I want to do. I know the sort of thing that I want to do, but it's just going to be so hard thinking about a specific job. Hmm. But I've started to think, maybe you don't have to grow up as soon as I think you do. I mean, obviously, when you're 30, you don't want to be acting like a 10 year old. But for now, maybe I can ask people to help me make decisions. And I can ask others for advice on what to do. Because there are always going to be people there to help. Maybe it's just aging rather than growing up. I mean, you get older, but Maybe that doesn't mean that you have to start being completely responsible for everything. I don't know. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. It would be really cool to hear from you guys. Hi. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I hope I haven't made you sad. 
And yeah. Oh, uh, yes, I did get a fringe. I think I'm just gonna have to grow to like it. It's a bit weird at the moment. I feel like I'm wearing a hat all the time. Nice and warm. And secondly, thank you so, so, so much to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented on my videos, even disliked. Dislikes just help me know that what I'm doing might not be for everyone. So thank you to everyone who has done something which has affected my videos. <laughs> thank you for watching again, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay.